And hello once again, Moon. Here we go. Oh, everything flipped. Yep, there we go. That was not the encounter that we were told we had. We got, that was a bit of a mess up. We would we should have been around here at the, the highest point, and then the moon should arrive and catch us. Okay, it looks like Bill Kerman's losing light. This could be a problem because we haven't invented light yet. There was a lot of stuff we haven't invented. I'm thinking at this point that we probably went to the moon too soon. I think that's becoming quite clear. This is like going to the moon in in the middle of World War II level of technology. Okay, we'll throttle up in apparently total silence. There it is. You get a weird sort of Doppler effect thing going on in the map for some unknown reason. I'm guessing the map picks a fixed point that on your trajectory so you'll arrive at it and then pass it and then it makes a new one or something. It's a bit weird. So we'll drop ourselves down into a lower orbit. It looks like we're pretty much perfectly aligned to meet them. Let's stop the burn there and then we'll just fine-tune it, get it down to 20. Okay, and then we will swing around. Oh, that was a bit faster than I intended. Okay, so Bill is now very much in darkness. But we have no time to waste. We must do a, a nighttime landing. He could be dying down there. Oxygen deprivation or something. We have no way of knowing. We've lost contact. It's a bit weird. But his radio is working fine. He's just not talking. It's almost as if he's been somehow paralyzed by an unknown force. And that should do. Oh, we're down to 15 there. That's a bit not very good. We'll swing around to something like... Yeah, we'll swing around to the periapsis because that's in about the right place. Okay. So now do our slowdown burn that will bring us on a landing trajectory. When's the burn? Easy does it. Right, we want it to be sort of yeah, that should do. Actually, that's far too much. Apparently, we're going to crash into the surface before we get to Bill, and that is not good. So we will flip round and waste some fuel fixing that. Now, at this point, I'm looking at how much fuel we have left, and it looks concerning to me. But the thing is, I've forgotten how much fuel we had at this, at this point in the last moon landing. Also, I'm noticing our trajectory is completely off for actually getting to Bill. Um, we will we'll hop, we'll swing around to here a bit, and then we'll do a bit of a of a modification to our orbit. I think. Um, yeah, because last time, like Bill just skimmed the bottom of this. We're gonna be going right over it. Uh, right, we want to be burning south to change our direction to the south. Quite surprising, really. Okay, this should work quite nicely. It is increasing the height of our orbits over there a little bit, but that's fine. Now we don't want to land quite where he is, because where he is is a, a treacherous slope that horribly murdered us last time. We may die, by the way. This is a nighttime landing, and I've never done a nighttime landing without lights before, I don't think. Apart from maybe very early on in my KSP career many updates ago, like 10 updates. Okay, around we go. Down to 10 kilometers. Ground getting very near. We'll play the, the, the radar altimeter game. It should work better this time. Aha! We have them on the radar. Still no radio contact. It's very concerning. Oh, that was... We're going right over a ridge here. I, I think. It's hard to tell. Okay, we're right. We're getting right over them now. Radar altimeter game. One, let's go. Still not twitching. I'm, I must be doing something different. Okay. We need to do this. And burn like hell. Okay. We are flying by instruments here. Can't see a thing. 
Okay, that should be good. Now we'll wait till we're practically over the top of him. And then we will do another deceleration burn. Now how is our height? It's still above 3,000. There they are. 10 kilometers away. We'll be able to fly to them in an EVA with the EVA pack stuffness. Okay, get ready. We also want to slow down our downwards motion because nobody likes downwards motion. Our fuel's getting quite low again. Okay. Engage. Slow us right down. Oops, gone a little bit past. It's alright, we've got it. And nearly straight down. Yes, okay. Remember, the moon is rotating, so you have to take that into account. You want to match its rotation. Now, here's the difficult bit. We have to land on the moon. I can't see anything. I can see the lights from my batteries. I'm quite happy that I included those now. So this really is f like flying by instruments. We need the gear down. That's something I may not have noticed if it wasn't for... Right, okay, we're getting pretty low now at, at quite some speed. This is the part where we play the radar altimeter game and it matters. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, we lost the outer engines there, done. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh. Right, so we're in a... Why are we in this menu? Okay, our altitude is increasing. No, no, don't want it to increase. I need to switch there. That's what I want. Okay. So we, we need to be dropping down. We don't want to waste too much fuel, because then we'll die. And we don't want to die, because dying is bad. Uh, uh, this isn't good. This is not good at all. I do not like this one bit. Okay, I want to be going... No, 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 no. Not up. Not up. Up is bad. How high are we? I'm, I'm getting... This is really... This is really bad. I do... Why did I decide to land at night time? This doesn't even make good viewing. You can't see anything. Come on. Easy. 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 We're going to run out of fuel, aren't we? We're going to have to do another mission. Okay, we're going down too fast. Too fast. Less than 200 meters. We're tilted quite a bit as well because we messed up earlier. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. Slowing it down nicely. Less than 100 meters. I think we're on a slope again, but it's difficult to tell. Oh god, oh god. Easy. Oh, we're dropping too slow. Two meters per second is entirely fine. It gives us like a whole minute to drop down, and that's too long actually, because we'll die. Okay. 40 meters. Slow down more again. This is it. Okay, okay. Uh. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 don't tip, no, not another one, Ugh, yes, okay, okay, right, okay, we are on the moon in some, in, in some degree of ness, and we're three kilometers away from everything, I think we need to warp to daytime, because I have no idea what's going on, I can't believe we actually did this, actually landed on the moon in total darkness, Come on. Where's that damn sun? I want to see what the hell's going on. We need to go save Bill. He could be in pain. Where's the sun, damn it? Work faster. Yes! Here we are. Okay. Okay. So we landed. Bit of a slope. Could have been deadly. Right. Now we have to go get Bill. So you hop out. Jump down. Fall down. Fall over. It's fine. Just, okay, you can't walk onto the engines. Let's not do that. Let's not hit the shit with our head so hard it moves. Let's go. Oh, maybe that wasn't productive. Okay, that definitely wasn't productive. 
this is going to be a long journey. Jump cut time, or may maybe another fast forward. I'll do it probably this time. Okay, so here we are. We had a, a, a minor incident where we sort of flew past, and also we did. Well, we spent most of well, uh, in this particular mission, Bob has discovered the most efficient way of traveling across the moon's surface is with your face, and the second most efficient way is with rocket uh, EVA fuel or whatever it is. Let's just fly over there, and this time we will hopefully not. Oops, I I forgot to to fly up. I just. Well then, it, it is a very efficient form of transport. You want to use it whenever possible. Right, come on. Jump and forward and stay up a little bit. Okay. Bill, are you okay, Bill? Say something. Anything. Bill. Bill. Uh, what's wrong with him? I don't understand. Bill, why? Bill! Speak! Damn you! Oh god, he's rolling away. Um... I can only assume that he got a puncture in his suit and now he's... very dead. Um... Let's try switching to him again. <laughs> That's another landing li gear dropping through the the universe. Oh, the the wheel's going again. Not the wheel. Oh no, no, no! God damn no! Well nuts. It's not going to hit that rock because the rock is transparent. God damn it! Wait, can we? No, we can't. We can't. Well, there's only one thing to do: time warp, and play the Benny Hill theme. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that. Maybe. Copyright problems. Well, this is irritating. Can I... No, I, I can't. Uh, stupid wheel. It's not a wheel, it's an engine. How far is this going to roll? Oh, God. There's miles before the, the terrain flattens out. As it's going to go into this crater. That'll give us a bit of viewing. Uh, how does it even do that? That does not seem right. You are ruining my video, Mr. Engine. 
Come on, either stop rolling or roll quicker so that this gets done quicker. Oh, we, we switched. Okay. So here's the flag. And here is Bill. Well, I can switch his light on and off. But he's dead, apparently. He's dead, Jim. This is a sad day for Kerbal Kind. We tried. We did everything we could, but we couldn't save Bill. And I think on on that somber note, we should end today's episode. It's going to take a very long time and a lot of a lot of inner strength, I think, for Bob to scale this hill, this mountain pretty much, and get back to his ship and fly away, even if he can, because that thing doesn't have that much fuel in it anyway. Hmm. That's such a, a terrible failure so early on in in spaceflight history is this could ruin everything. This could end the whole program, the public's gonna hate us. No one's gonna invest anymore. Then again, money has not been implemented, so we're alright in that sense. You tried, Bob. He's gone. I'm sorry. Well then. Bob shall hopefully return. Why is he moonwalking? Turn around. Well, he did just moonwalk on the moon. Fair enough. But that will be another day. And so for now, I shall say... Goodbye, and see you next time.